Hi everyone, it's late September here in Central Texas and I thought I'd give you a quick update on one of our favorite plants which is the Musa Bastu. So this is the Japanese fiber banana. Um, it's a cold hardy variety of banana and we grow it in a lot of different locations here in our gardens. Uh, there's lots of different varieties or some other ones over there but this one right here I wanted to show you today is the Musa Bastu um, and we've had a lot of success with it. Um, this one has flowered for a couple of years for us. Uh, in fact, if you look right there, and I'll zoom in, you can see that it is flowering again right now. And in fact, this one right here is flowering as well. So you can kind of see the bananas going up there. Now, these are not, these are more of an ornamental um, banana. So they, uh, well, I've heard that the bananas are sort of a delicacy. Uh, in certain cultures, uh, they are pretty much inedible, <laughs> I believe. They, uh, they're they small, uh, very tough bananas. They have a lot of black seed in, in, seeds in them, so pretty in, inedible. In fact, you can see we don't even uh, harvest them. So there's some old bananas uh, that actually uh, were on this plant and flowered earlier in the year. So anyways, this is the Musa Bastu uh, banana plant. As you can see, it likes to spread quite a bit. So we've got it growing up, you know, it started off as one small plant and it has grown and spread pretty widely. Uh, and I'd guess that it's probably upwards of the tops, I'd say 15 feet tall. And like I said, uh, once they're established, pretty prolific uh, producers of fruit as well too. So if you're looking for a good cold hardy variety of banana to try, uh, give it a shot, the Musa Bastio.